So which one of these three moderate chatterbaits is worth it? That's what we're looking at right now. Y'all asked, why didn't I use the Thunder Cricket? Why didn't I use the Picasso Shock Blade? Why did I use the Cross Eyes in the first video? Now we're gonna put those three vibrating jiggers or chatterbaits against each other and see which one is the best at that price because there isn't a lot of price differences in these three chatterbaits. They're all roughly around 10 to $12. So we're gonna put the Thunder Cricket versus the Shock Blade versus the cross eyes, and we're gonna compare the startup speed, the components, the sound, what the rod tip looks like as you're reeling them in. And then we're gonna judge for ourselves which one we like better. And it isn't gonna be me that picks who the winner of this one is, it's you. So you'll have to comment below and tell me which one you prefer. The Strike King Thunder Cricket. The Thunder Cricket from Strike King offers a great startup speed with its premium vibrating blade. The blade is attached to an innovative recessed head design. The Thunder Cricket has a much different pitch in the water. And many anglers will tell you when other chatterbaits aren't working, switching to the Thunder Cricket will deliver bites. That change in pitch while still getting that vibration attracts predator fish to eat. Let's take a second and check out the vibration in the rod as the Thunder Cricket is reeled in. The Thunder Cricket has a molded wire bait keeper, premium skirt, and has a color for everyone. It's available in three sizes, 3 8 one half ounce, and 5 8 of an ounce, and comes in 14 exceptional colors. Price is anywhere between $11.98 and $13.99. Chatterbait fun fact, if you want to catch more fish, when you get that bite, use a sidearm hook set instead of up and down. It'll help you land more fish. The Picasso Shock Blade. The Picasso Shock Blade offers a rapid vibration called a speed blade. It was developed in collaboration with the great pro Aaron Martins. May he rest in peace. The Shock Blade has a V-shaped head design which is meant to cut through grass and deflect off structure better. The Shock Blade has a rapid blade striking off the jig head to create its unique clicking sound. It offers an O'Shaughnessy style hook, double bait trailer keeper, super silicone skirt, and more colors than imaginable. It's available in three sizes, three eighths, half ounce, and three quarters of an ounce. They have 27 available colors and retail price is $11.59. However, it's on sale right now for $4.98. Now let's take a quick second and check out the vibration in the rod as the Picasso shock blade is reeled in. Chatterbait fun fact number two, and I have to read this. Ron Davis was the innovator of the vibrating jigger, the Chatterbait. Sold 5,000 of his hex-shaped blade in 1998. After a bunch of uh, pro anglers won tournaments with it and the secret was out, they sold 25,000 and sales skyrocketed to over $2 million. That's what started the craze of the Chatterbait. The Z-Man Cross Eyes. The Z-Man Cross Eyes Chatterbait was designed by pro angler David Walker and offers exceptional startup action. It has a custom O'Shaughnessy hook, dual trail keeper, and a weed guard that allows the bait to come through cover and structure much better than the others. It offers a silicone skirt, stainless hex-shaped blade, and its trademark, the Cross Eyes. The Cross Eyes has that traditional sound that you just can't beat, and that thumping action is the best of all three baits. They are available in three sizes, 3 8 one half, and three quarter ounces. They come in 10 colors, and retail price is $10.49 to $10.99. However, at this time of making this video, they are $6.29 each, so go get them right now. There's a link in the description. The Skirts. I could be wrong, but in terms of the skirt, the Picasso Shock Blade has the best and the fullest skirt. In second place is the Z-Man Cross Eyes because it's much bulkier than the Thunder Cricket. Trailer Keepers. In my opinion, the winner is the Cross Eyes because it has one wire and one molded on the jig itself. Second, in my opinion, would be the Thunder Cricket with one wire and the Shock Blade in third with one circular wire and one molded, which I really don't prefer. The sound. Each of these three chatterbaits has a different sound, and this is one area either you appreciate one over the other. 
my preference could be much different than yours. But since I'm making and editing this video, I've got to keep it real. I like the shock blade sound the best. The wrap up. These three moderately priced chatterbaits are the best of the best in my opinion. They're all built to last, they have great components, and I've fished them a lot. And I think they're each has a different place in different circumstances when you're fishing. I think all three should be in your tackle box. I think you'll notice that on the Strike King Thunder Cricket, it wants to stay a little bit deeper than the other two. So if you're in deeper water, that's a better one to use. But there is a time and a place for all three, and they're all really fantastic chatterbaits. So now here it is. Which one do you like best? Tell me in the comments below. Now for me, I have caught just as many fish on the Picasso Shock Blade as I have the Jackhammer. Now, I didn't go and look at my stats and all the other stuff, but I've had some absolutely killer days with this bait. This is a great bait, sounds good, acts good, stays in the upper water column for me and I appreciate that. But my winner in the moderately priced chatterbaits is that one right there and that's the shock blade from Picasso. So which one is your favorite? Which one's the one you will spend your money on? Comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Get your fish on, I'll point now, and I'll see y'all soon. We're gonna look at the Strike King Thunder Cricket versus the Picasso Shock Blade and that loud ass truck driving by. I didn't hit the record button. What in the hell? What are you doing, you stupid idiot? Go and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. God, that camera looks awful close to me right now. We'll see y'all soon. Cheers.